Hey there fellow webmaster, it's Christian from Racknerd and in today's video I'm going to show you an essential skill for anyone managing websites with Docker. That is how to back up and restore your website. Backing up your website is like having an insurance policy. It ensures your precious data is safe and can be restored if anything goes wrong. And before I forget, this tutorial will assume that you already have a Docker and WordPress site installed, okay? You can refer to our previous videos in this series on how to do all of those things. The links will all be in the description down below. So let's go ahead and dive into how to safeguard your website and your other digital assets. Before we get into the nitty gritty, let's quickly talk about the different options for backing up your website. There are several ways to back up your site for sure. The most popular methods available are WordPress plugin, that is if you're using WordPress, or simply using PHP My Admin, which is why we made a tutorial on how to set it up and install it with your Docker server, because it really does help a lot if you're not a big fan of the command line approach. But sad to say the fastest way to back up a large sized website without facing common bugs or errors is using the command line interface, which is why today we will focus on Docker commands powered approach as it simplifies the backup and restoration process, especially if you have a large website in terms of storage size. All right, let me go ahead and share my screen with you and let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so to get started, let's open up our SSH console and navigate to our website directory by typing this. That is cd forward slash opt forward slash WordPress, all one word. But you're free to change the location to whatever you would like if it's not the same location as mine. So ideally, we have two things to back up which is our website data and its database. You can run this command to list the contents within this directory. And you can use the list command to check whatever is inside a directory by running this command, space, and the directory name, as you can see right here. Let's first back up our data by simply compressing the WP app directory by running this command. In this command, we have created a backup directory for the sake of organization and safety and use the zip command to compress the web app directory as the exact backup file. And once the process is complete, we can check that the content inside is running by using this command. As you can see, we have successfully backed up our data. So now let's proceed on creating a backup of our website data by running this command. Just make sure you modify the appropriate values here to the correct details you set up in your recent tutorial, okay? Or you can check your credentials by running this command. Just replace the right values you see in the results for db underscore root underscore password and db underscore name. And optionally, you can modify the backup file name itself, which is the db underscore bak dot sql. Once you've executed the Docker backup command, it creates an SQL backup in the backup directory under your website's root folder, which is the WordPress folder in our case. And if you see a warning, just ignore it for now. Furthermore, you can verify all backups were made by running this command. As you can see here, our recent database backup. Now let's go over how to restore the backup we just did, because restoring your website is just as crucial as backing it up. But before we do, just let me edit my WordPress site title here to make sure that we can confirm later on that we have restored the recent backup, as you can see here. So originally we have backed up the Docker WP site name and we've modified the site now into Docker WP new. So basically when we restore our old backup, it should now show our old name, which was Docker WP. So let's see how it goes. So let's go back to our SSH console and to restore the database, please run this command. Once again, modify the appropriate values as per your own setup based on the backup data you would like to restore, which as mentioned earlier, you can check by running this command that I'll put on screen now. 
and simply replace the .sql file in the command with your exact preferred backup file name. Once done, let's check out our site to see if it reverted back to the old site name, which is Docker WP. And as you can see here, it did. Now, lastly, in case you encounter an error or maybe broken images, it means you probably need to restore your website data or files, not just your database. To do this, simply unzip your wp-app-bak.zip file by running this command and input letter A, in caps lock that is, to confirm the override of the existing files. Remember, these two backups, such as the website's data along with the database should be done at the same time before doing any updates on your site because both are linked to one another. And that's it, you've just learned how to back up and restore your website using the Docker command's powered approach. It's a powerful and efficient way to ensure your digital presence stays secure. Remember, a little effort in setting up regular backups can save you from potential headaches down the road. So stay tuned for our next video because we will show you how to automate this process in just a few minutes. And if you want to explore more about Docker and enhance your website management skills, don't forget to head on over to rackner.com and subscribe to this channel. At Rackner, we've got plenty of resources for you to explore as a webmaster and reliable hosting solutions to empower your online experience. So don't hesitate to reach out to us and we'll talk to you soon.